Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. This morning, I'm going to be talking with clinical psychologist Dr. Stephen Ragusia. We're going to be discussing the mentally ill in prisons. The continuous withdrawal of mental health funding has turned prisons and jails across the country into the default mental health facilities. The mentally ill become trapped inside the system with nowhere else to go. Right now, documentary photographer Jennifer Ackerman will take us inside the psychiatric ward of a U.S. prison. Most people, most experts tell us that uh, the money for mental health hospitals and those types of treatments in the community has dried up and those people are coming to, uh, to prison. We're the surrogate mental health hospitals now. Even though it's not against the law for somebody to be crazy, it's against the law for us to let them hurt themselves. It's a thin line between mental health and security. There's folks back on Sea Wing who are so sick and delusional and psychotic and really just in another world. It's like these are people that society has forgotten about or would like to forget about and um, it's really sad. There's not that much that an inmate watcher can do because obviously we're just inmates, but uh, I do what I can, you know. They want you to write their kids, write their mom, their wife. Just want you to stand there and talk for a minute, you know. A lot of times they'll just want to air and run to the guards, so I'll, you know, the, the officers get hard of hearing it. I'll come up and keep asking, you know, because it shows them that somebody's in their corner, you know. You feeling all right today? Depressed? Yeah, it's one of those days. You uh, not hearing the voices today? Not really? Good, good, good. How's those uh, bullet holes? Are healing up nice? Or? We really want to stabilize people and get them in the least restrictive setting as safely but expediently as possible. Many of them want to get out, but then some of them don't. Because they've been in society, 
and they saw what happened there, to be so beaten down, either physically or emotionally, that it's okay for you, or you even prefer to be locked in a room, and locked in a room for 23, 24 hours a day, that is a miserable experience. It's crazy. I've seen grown men cry for no reason. I've seen people cut and bleed so bad they couldn't even, you couldn't even hardly recognize them. I've seen people hang themselves. When an inmate's in, in a psychotic episode or just being disruptive, their strength is amazing. And sometimes it takes two people to get their hands. Sometimes it takes three or four people to get their hands restrained. We get assaulted probably six, seven times a week. Sometimes we get assaulted six, seven times in a day. Their rejects of society and warehousing them in prison isn't the way to go. Most of them don't have life sentences. They will get out someday. So what do they do when they get out? I mean, they'll, they will be my neighbor, your neighbor, somebody else's neighbor, somebody's homeless person, somebody walking the street. If we don't care about them, if we don't want to do anything with them, who will? No, please, no. No.